currently on Bleakclo Moor. Uh, this is a National Trust owned part of the Peak District National Park. And we're here because Moors for the Future are undertaking restoration works on this area as part of the Moor Life Project which is an EU funded project worth about five and a half million pounds with the intention of bringing life back to the moors. We're here today to look at the sphagnum restoration and reintroduction work that we're doing. The moors that we stood on are made up of peat and that peat's been created from 8,000 years of sphagnum growing and then dying and the, the, the vegetation matter that's left is the peat that we're stood on. Across the moors uh, in Scotland, down in Devon, you'll find large patches of this sphagnum covering the whole area. Now we've had to walk for three quarters of an hour to find a patch that's about the size of um, an average small city garden. And the reason that we've got such a lack of sphagnum across the area is due to the historic pollution that's been caused from industrial pollution from the cities of Manchester and the mills of Lancashire. The wildfires that have occurred has meant that sphagnum has just essentially been wiped out of the Peak District. You can find it in tiny patches that we've got here and isolated spots, but it should be covering the vast area of this Peak District moorlands. Now the Moor Life Project um, is designed to help protect these small patches that we've got, but also reintroduce sphagnum across the areas that we're working on. For 10 years, Moors for the Future has been undertaking restoration works across Peak District and the South Pennines. And the ultimate aim is to get the sphagnum reintroduced uh, across the whole area. And so the, the key question for us is how we can do that on a landscape scale. Eight years ago, uh, Moors for the Future went to a company, Micropropagation, who were asked to come up with a, a way of creating a source of sphagnum because there's so little sphagnum in the Peak District we needed to grow our own sphagnum but also to create a means of applying it on a grand scale. Through various trials and tribulations we've come up with these beads and these are tiny fragments of sphagnum uh, encased in a, a gel capsule and these enable us to apply uh, beads over sort of 50 to 70 hectares a day. Once these beads are applied they will grow and develop um, into the sphagnum that we see here. And this is the sphagnum that's grown from the beads um, over the course of about a year's worth, two years worth of growth. The beads um, uh, spread by hand. The sphagnum will only grow in certain locations. So as the spreaders are walking along, they choose its specific areas to apply the beads. We're also working as um, a partnership and our, our own partners are undertaking similar sphagnum reintroduction works. They're doing it with different techniques. And so hopefully over the course of the next five years, we will have found the key to reintroducing sphagnum over these areas.